My question, sister, is in the book of Proverbs, in the chapter 14. I'm going to read verse 15 and verse 18. Verse 15 reads, The simple believes every word, but the prudent considers well his steps. Verse 18, The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. My question is, sister, about this simple, are they people of the world or are they people that are in the church and have yet to understand doctrine? And how can they inherit folly? Sister, God bless you. The simple are those who are not prudent, right? The simple, they are not prudent. The prudent is going to be crowned with knowledge, but the simple is going to inherit folly. These are reasonings that the king wrote, well inspired also by God, about the problem that people lived, that human beings lived, whether they are of the world or people who know God, whomever it may be. He was reasoning and saying, look, there are two ways. There is the prudent and there is the simple. Between the two, who benefits more? The prudent. He is the one who's going to receive the benefit. And so the writer, he did not worry about knowing if they are from the church or if they are a people, but they are human beings. In the world, there are people like this. So these are just pure reasonings that King Solomon had, inspired by God, because it says here that God gave him a lot of wisdom and he was very wise to reason, to write Proverbs, and reason about the problems, things that happen to human beings, the good and the bad that human beings do. And so he says, this happens. Human beings do this and they do that. In life, these things happen. That is why he talked about bribes. Whoever allows himself to be bribed, then it's bad. No matter how perfect they are, they allowed themselves to be bribed. They failed. They became dishonest. So he didn't care if it was about people of the world or of the church. It was for everyone. Because the people who live in the world, they are taught as well. There are places or there are subjects or people who study values and they teach good morals. You have to go down this path, do things the right way. And so you would need to analyze those who read. It says that Proverbs are to teach people to make them knowledgeable, wise, and prudent. That is what it says in Proverbs 1. Why were the Proverbs written? We should remember a little bit. Why were the Proverbs written? Here in Proverbs 1, here we have the response of what the brother is asking. The brother is asking if it refers to the believers or the people of the world. And I say to everyone, I think the teaching is addressed to everyone. It says, it says the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. What is this for? To know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity, to give prudence to the simple. In other words, to give prudence. A person who is prudent, they know and they think about how they're going to behave in a moment. I'm going to behave prudently. They are knowledgeable on how they're going to act. They were prudent and they were triumphant because of it. It says, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. So the Proverbs say a wise man will hear and increase learning and a man of understanding will attain what? They will attain wise counsel to understand a proverb and an enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction because they are foolish, because they are not prudent, because they are not wise. And so they 
look down on such beautiful things. But he says that it's so that everyone may learn. Everything is a school so that all may learn. The people of the world and all the more reason, the people of the church. <laughs> <laughs> 